The Northwest Territories resource sector has a new kid in town. Natchalacho Mine, around 100 kilometers east of Yellowknife, entering production this spring, is the first Canadian producer of rare earth minerals. APTN was invited to a media tour of the mine. And this is some of our gear here. We have uh, three 40-ton rock trucks. We're using that to haul ore to the crusher. According to Cheetah Resources, operators of the project and owners of deposits near the surface, it's also the first time in Canada an Indigenous group is contracted for extracting minerals in its own territory. Something Kyle Bea is proud of. Uh, everywhere else I've ever worked, I've, I've always been one of the, the mi minority, right? I've always been the either only one or the either only few. And around here, it's been pretty much 80%, I guess, 80% native. So it's good. Vea is a heavy equipment operator originally from Delaney, Northwest Territories. Like there's a lot of people back home that don't have tickets and don't have training and they just don't, uh, they don't work, right? They don't have that. And I was lucky, lucky to get out and get my ticket. And Vice President of Operations David Conley says the demonstration phase of the project is small, with around 30 seasonal jobs this summer. We expect the physical footprint will be less than 10% of the average uh, NWT diamond mine. While smaller in scale, the secret is in the sorting. No chemicals. It's actuated by air. Um, it has fiber optics, x-rays that's going to illuminate, similar as a diamond. It's going to recognize that, uh, that product that we need and the product that we don't need. An expected 600,000 tons of ore-bearing rock will be extracted. 100,000 tons of that will contain the minerals used to power things like vehicles, wind turbines and cell phone cameras. That's the Baston site. Uh, the white, that's the quartz matrix. That's basically what we're mining, two, two minerals, quartz and Baston site. And because it's so coarse, it's going to be super easy to liberate. For Bea, who's worked in mines across the north, he's happy there's no tailing ponds. I was down in Fort Mac uh, last year and like all the impacts down there I see, right? And like not much animals and grounds all drying up, turning into sand and stuff. And, and uh, with the snow tailings, with this process we got here, I'm pretty happy uh, to be environmentally friendly, friendly right? And Product will be sold to Saskatchewan for processing, then shipped to Norway for fine separation of rare earth elements and sale. If all goes well, Cheetah hopes to hit the second phase by 2024 and expand into a larger open pit. Charlotte Mort Jacobs, APTN National News, Natchalacho Mine, Thor Lake.